test we're going to do is oxygen. It's pretty obvious dissolved oxygen in water, and it's pretty obvious why we do this, because animals that live in the water need oxygen just like we do. To do this, we're going to use a very expensive piece of equipment, an oxygen meter. It looks like this. What happens, this goes into the water, and it records in milligrams per litre the amount of oxygen in the water. This is in the water, but this is the actual device which records it. I haven't turned this one on. I've got a separate one for demonstration purposes. Okay, we're just going to come over here and we'll have a look at the probe that's in the water. And then we look at our oxygen meter to see how many milligrams per litre of oxygen is in that water. You can see it is at the moment about 7.2 milligrams per litre. Now that's fine, but we also need to adjust our reading because a very important variable for oxygen in the water is the water temperature. Basically, cold water can hold more oxygen than hot water. That's because cold water is denser, so it can hold more. So we've got to make an adjustment for the temperature. To do that, we don't have to do a calculation, we simply use this chart. We need two things, two variables, remember? We need water temperature and the MGL reading, which we just took off the oxygen meter. This chart has got those two variables on it. The top, our oxygen, we have our water temperature, which we recorded earlier at around 20.3 degrees. We also just recorded milligrams per litre, the oxygen level, and it was about seven, just over seven, 7.2. We place our ruler between those, and where it crosses the diagonal line here is where you read your percentage saturation oxygen. In this case, it cuts the line at around about 80%. So we have 80% saturated oxygen in the water.